Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a collective haul for you all and it is for Bath and Body Works. And it is over two days. I went today, which is Thursday. And I also went on Monday. And I definitely think this is going to be the last time that I am shopping the semi-annual sale this summer. Um, aside from I am going to the U.S., on Tuesday and I have a US gift card so I really want to um, be able to catch some sale prices in the US next week I really hope they still have some sale stuff left by next week um, I know the sale is kind of winding down but I'm just hoping there's some stuff left so I can make the most of my gift card and get the most bang for my buck or not really mine since it was a gift card but you all know what I mean so anyways I think I will go in order of what I got on Monday first and then what I got today. So let's start off with the first thing I got. Monday I got a body lotion in strawberry pound cake. Pound cake. Now on Monday and I think until, I, think, I thought it was supposed to be until today but when I went to the store, I thought it was supposed to be until today but when I went to the store they no longer had it and that is um. They had a sale on Monday that was all body creams, lotions, and fine fragrance mists are $4.95 at every cent in the entire store, which is a super good deal because usually, like, if they're talking about every cent in the entire store, the cheapest it goes is, like, $6, um, $5.95 or something like that, but it was $4.95 and it was any body cream, lotion, or fine fragrance mist in the entire store. So I thought that was a great um, deal, um, especially if you're looking to pick up some products that don't usually go on sale, in semi-annual sale, and what have you. So anyways, I thought that was still going to be on today, but it wasn't. But anyways, on Monday I did catch some of those great deals, and I picked this up. It was $4.95. I love strawberry pound cake. I honestly have way, um, way more of it than I actually need, and it's so funny because... I picked this up and I thought in my mind that I had two body creams and a mini body lotion in this and that's all. I think I looked in my closet and I actually have two other body lotions as well. So that's okay because I love this scent to be honest and I, I don't have any in this packaging and I really like this packaging. I like how the um, lettering is a lot bigger. I just like the font of the lettering for this. Although one thing I don't like about this packaging is you can't see how much of it you have left or how much you've gone through or if someone's like returned it if it's been used at all that kind of stuff but anyways I picked this up for $4.95 the next thing I picked up at the sale um was poppy um I do like to I do like to buy the um lotions instead of the creams just because I heard that the lotions do last longer in terms of expiry dates and stuff like that and also I wanted to say, yeah, the it was so weird because it wasn't just all the body care, which it usually is. It was just the lotions, creams, and the fine fragrance mist, and none of the body washes were on sale, which is fine because I don't really use our body wash, so I don't really care about that personally. But I just noticed that this, uh, um, it's kind of messed up on the bottom, but I honestly think that I did that myself somehow. But anyways, this is Poppy. This was also $4.95. This is one of their new fragrances. This has no fragrance notes on it, so I can't tell you the fragrance notes. Uh, this is Poppy, Fresh Morning Dew, Wild Poppies, Sugared Rhubarb, and Juicy Pear. And this, it honestly smells so good. I, I really, really like it, to be honest. And I wish that they still had the sale on this kind of stuff um, when I was there today because, long story short, I was there returning a fine fragrance mist and a body um, lotion and I didn't I kind of felt bad to return them because they were like the 75% off ones so I didn't want to return them for the full price ones I wanted to return them for uh, other SAS items and I don't think these were like on sale anymore so I didn't get oops I didn't get um, any more of these but this is a really great scent okay the next lotion I got was Midnight Swim and I actually haven't gotten that many lotions from the semi-annual sale uh, until like this um, this haul but yeah so this one has blue waters beach flower and fresh coastal air and I do have this in the um, in the fine fragrance mist honestly it is so nice like 
there was one, it was supposed to be 75% off, I think, still today, but, like, there was just a tester, and there was no actual ones, and the tester was halfway done, and I was trying to find it to do my exchange, because I was looking for an exchange, as I said, for a fine fragrance mist and a body lotion, and I just couldn't find any that were on sale that I actually even wanted, so it was taking me a long time, because I was, there was some that I kind of liked, but none that really stood out to me, so, anyways, this is a really, really good scent. I now have the lotion to match the mist because I never had the matching lotion until now. It is super, super nice, like summery, beachy. It's not too like um, sunscreeny. Like I know some of the beachy ones are kind of sunscreen. This one has no sunscreen. Scent. Oops, has no sunscreen scent. It's just kind of like oceany. If that makes sense. And then the last um, body cream I got was Beach Nights, and this I've been like really excited about this scent because I actually have a beach nights from like a long time ago like maybe three or four maybe even longer a very long time ago and it's almost done it's actually to like here and I've been saving it because I love the scent so much I've never seen it like being brought back it probably has but I've never seen it because I didn't get like super into bath and body works again until like maybe like eight or nine months ago so yeah I, I didn't see it there I know they used to have it from when I had the lotion a long time ago um, but anyways they brought it back and I love this scent so much it has toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze s'mores accord beach driftwood and creamy vanilla and it's such a nice marshmallowy beachy scent and yeah I didn't want to pay full price for this obviously but once I saw this go for $4.95 I was freaking out and I was like I gotta get it um, as you can see the color of the cream is kind of darker than the other ones I don't know why that is but anyways then I had to get the Matching Beach Nights Fine Fragrance Mist. Honestly, it smells so good. Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze S'mores Accord. Well, the same stuff. I don't know why I'm reading it. But I really like this packaging a lot better than this packaging because this one has, like, the um, sparkler on it. Um, the cream did have the sparkler on it as well, but not the body lotion. So... Then the last thing I got from that day, from Monday, was um, Champagne Toast. And uh, this one does not have the fragrance mist on it. This is a, such a classic scent. But it's one of those things that, like, because it's a classic scent, I just never pick it up. Like, I like it, but I've never actually picked it up. I, I had the, um, I had a hand sanitizer in this scent, so I know I like it. But yeah, I had it in nothing else. And then I got a candle in it. From the thrift store and then I was burning it and I'm like oh my gosh I love the scent so I I have the body cream in it as well so now I have or it's on the body cream it's body butter but yeah now I have the body butter and this um define fragrance mist to go with the body butter I honestly love the color of this um packaging this is like really really pretty light pink color it's really nice then today so I went to do an exchange and I exchanged um also, like, when I went to get this stuff, I also got one more lotion, and it was You're the One. And I've heard so many good stuff about You're the One, honestly. I was super excited about it. But then I, I smelled it, and I really did not like it at all. So I returned it, or I exchanged it, and then I also exchanged, um, I had the Fine Fragrance Mist in the scent Hope, which is, um, Peach Bellini. And I was, like, trying it out, and I was like, I really don't like this. I don't know what it is. It smells like some sort of, like, candy to me, but, like, not in a good way if I'm being honest. So yeah, I was trying to exchange them today, and I was trying to figure out what did I want to exchange them for, and I honestly went back and forth between so many different things. At one point, I picked up a lotion in the banana, Bahamas banana flower. I don't really like any of that collection for some reason. I don't know why, like any of that tropical collection. It wasn't really good, like in my mind. I also tried some of the fragrance mist, like I tried the like guavatini one, coconut copper sand, or, no, coconut wakiki something. Didn't like that. Then I was thinking to get the, um, this copper coconut sand. I, I didn't mind, but I wasn't crazy about it. Then I was also thinking to get, like, they had, um, the Cozy Evening one, which I kind of liked, and that was, like, my second favorite that I was thinking maybe I should get it, but I was like, mm, I don't know. And then, what else? I was also looking at, um, like, Midnight Pomegranate, but I didn't like that one that much either, so I ended up just getting Sunshine Mimosa which is a scent that I already have, but now I have a backup in it, and I really love the scent, so I was just like, whatever, I'll get a scent I really love that's on sale that I really like, I mean, it's different packaging than the one I have, I just have the, like, normal one, not the one with this, like, matte kind of packaging, 
And then, yeah, I picked up uh, Beach Nights. I was also, like, thinking about uh, getting Pure Wonder because Pure Wonder was on sale at my store for $5. But I was like, mm, I don't, I don't know. So I picked up another Beach Nights. Now I have two of the Beach Nights um, cream because I really love this. And I used the whole one up that I had before. So I thought it's good to have two. Then I did buy some um, new stuff when I went as well. So they had these, um, the hand sanitizer sprays on 75% off. And I've never actually seen them go 75% off. I've only seen the pocket backs. Like at my store, I've never seen also like a three wick go 75% off. Like I've seen the single wicks, but not the three wicks. But I've never seen also like these go 75% off. They've gone 50% off and stuff like that. I also, oh yeah, I got another thing when I was looking for this stuff. Hold on. So when I was there on Monday, I also picked this up. I'm sorry, I forgot about it, but this was 50% off at the time. It's um, Feeling Loved Vanilla Cloud. It's a hand sanitizer, and I love this scent so much. I never tried the Vanilla Cloud scent before, and I love the packaging, so I picked that up. It doesn't have a cap. The cap It had a cap, but the cap kept falling off. But anyways, today they had these for 75% off, but they had like none left. There was like no, none of these at all because all of them were 75% off in my store. Um, they had four of this scent left, though, and that is Sweet Strawberry Scoop. And I did something I don't normally do, and that is I got all of them that were left over. So I got four of the Sweet Strawberry Scoop, and honestly, like, me and my family go through these super fast. Like, we'll go through the pocket back in about two days. So the, these have... Um, about three times as much as a pocket bag so I would say that, that helps. but it feels like honestly more than three times as much I would say that this would last me about a week or two whereas a pocket bag seems to last me like two days I don't know if I just put too much of the pocket bag on when I put it on but this would last me about two weeks so I just want to um, stock up on them because yeah they never go on sale and it is yeah sweet strawberry scoop which sounds like it's going to be great I love strawberry scents and I also got one of the slate scents um, from my dad. I don't have it here because I gave it to him already because he always takes my hand sanitizer. So I got one for him in the slate scent. There was like tons of the slate scent uh, in these left over. And then I picked up one more 50 cent um, pocket back in pineapple coconut. They had like three of these left and that was it. Um, I knew they were going to go fast, honestly. And then I picked up Kiwi Strawberry in this. Um, this was the only one, like, in the scent. And it's missing a cap, but that's okay. I really like the scent a lot as well. And then I picked up four candles. And my mom does not like these scents at all for some reason, but I really like them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you enjoy these scents or not. And that is, the first one is Berry Waffle Cone. Now, I don't like this scent in the soap. I smelled it before. But I kind of like it in the hand sanitizer. Sorry, not the hand sanitizer. Well, I kind of like it in the three wick. I really think the packaging is so cute. It's like a little ice cream truck, but it kind of, I, it kind of smells like um, it has a bit of a bakery note, like in terms of like a bready scent. So if you don't like bready scents, which my mom does not like, you would not like this. Like she does not like super super bakery items. But you kind of smell like the, the berry, the berry cone, like the berry ice cream. As and also the like scent of like a ice cream cone, which is like ready. If that makes sense. This was seventy five percent off, so this was like three seventy five. And then I picked up two of the summer boardwalks. I really liked these, and I love the um, packaging on this as well. You have like cotton candy stand and a Ferris wheel and stuff like that. Um, I don't even know what this smells like. It honestly kind of smells like ghoul friend to me. I have to look up what the notes are because the single wicks have no notes in them. I honestly feel like I've lost my sense of scent because I was in that store for so long. But I got two of these. There is kind of a bready note in this as well. But I, I don't know. I still like it. It's different, but I enjoy it. And then I got one of the raspberry mimosa because I already have one so I didn't want to get more than like two of them but now I'm thinking maybe I should have just gotten like instead of these ones I should have just gotten more raspberry mimosa because raspberry mimosa is so good it honestly smells like pink, pink prosecco frosting if you, if you smell that candle I had that candle too in the three wick um it smells exactly like that it's a really great scent so I now have like a backup one of these so I can burn one and have a backup 
but I honestly think I should have gotten more of these because they had more of these. They also had a watermelon lemonade, which I do have as well. But I didn't really want to get another one of those because I don't find it very strong. I find it one of the least strong candles I've ever burned from them. It's one of the first ones I had in the single wick. And I honestly never smells anything. I just think this, this like strawberry lemonade is not very strong scent or whatever watermelon lemonade. But anyways, that is my collective haul. I hope you enjoyed. And check out my account again soon. And let me know in the comments down below um, if you enjoy any of these scents. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye, everyone.